Hello again everyone, it's Finsfor from TradingWinds.com and this is our update for August 22nd, 2018. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. We did see a mixed close for uh, for U.S. equities today. This after some comments from the Fed. Um, actually it was the minutes released from their last meeting that suggest that there might be more rate hikes coming. The, the Dow was up earlier in the day but did pull back and close lower by 88 points the s p 500 uh dropped just over a point while the nasdaq actually managed a gain of about 29 points and the russell 2000 was up four and a half points hitting a new um all-time high once again the um the bond market did trade slightly higher that sent the yield on the 10-year note down to 2.819 Crude oil had a nice day today. It was up uh, over $2 or 3.1%. And this was due to an unexpected rise, uh, or excuse me, an unexpected drop in U.S. crude stockpiles. And gold uh, continued to move higher, although it did close off its highs. It did manage a gain of just about $3 or so. Uh, and this was on more weakness in the U.S. dollar. Now, I want to go back to the chart of the S&P 500. I'm sure many of you have heard a lot of talk in the media lately about this historic bull run that we are on and uh, and the fact that uh, it doesn't seem to be an end in sight and and you know we're likely to continue going higher what well, that may be the case but it may not and and here's why it's a little too early to tell but this is what I'm looking at at the charts obviously these all-time highs here 2875 uh extremely important and you know we're sitting right around there uh, now and I'm gonna look at the different time frame charts so just looking at the daily here not a whole lot of clues uh, I mean there there is certainly trend behind this latest move and there's momentum that there's an upward slope on that 20 which is good which bodes well for a move beyond these highs and a continuation of this trend when we look at the um, the weekly chart there's also momentum here um, now you know having to look at these candles recently very very small from high to low each day um, you know just slowly slowly making their ways back to that high showing no signs yet of breaking through now the one thing that's interesting on this chart is the volume if we go back here to this previous spike to this high of 2875 you can see that we had a huge spike in volume here and that's what you want to look for um, that's what you want to look for if, if if we put in another pivot high somewhere around the 2875 high here and get another spike in volume um, this could end up being a double top now that will not be confirmed unless and until we trade below the lowest point between those two two highs if we do form another one here which will be right in here the february 5th weekly high coming in just above 2500 if we look at the monthly chart it's even clearer so here it is we don't have a pivot yet okay this this monthly candle hasn't even closed yet we're a few ways away for, a few days away from that but again it is very important that we break through that high and continue on if we are going to continue on with this trend um, if we get rejected somewhere around these highs here and actually breach this low at 25 hundred here uh, then things completely change here so although at this point I agree it does look likely that we will continue to move higher especially because of this momentum this slope on the 20 that is behind this move but what we need to watch out for is the next pivot is that pivot going to happen near 2875 and will it be on higher than average volume those are the signs to keep an eye on. That's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you on our next update.